Friendlies weekend. Play all weekend. So we ultimate. And then fall after that is followed by the first ultimate weekly, the Wednesday after. Let's get it. Grand finals. Ralphie fighting off against Dill. Ralphie's sitting on the winner's side of Grands. That means Dill needs four games to take home this tournament. Can he get this uh, last win against Dill? Or is Dill going to clean up house? You decide. They decide, honestly. So Cloud versus Diddy. You know, uh, right off the bat, you know, Cloud's going to be able to apply a lot of this pressure against him. Trying to prevent him from laying down on the ground out of double jumps. This is a really bad spot. Because he got ooh, caught by the monkey ooh, flip ooh. so early, he was not able to get back and onto the this card. stage. Ralphie. Was that on purpose? Honestly, it could have been. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, these two have played so much. They know each other's little the intricacies of the play style. Well, Dill is Ralphie's father. I know. He's his father and his training partner. It's a sweet father-son relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ralphie's just trying to beat out this banana peel. Chill on this platform. But yep. Dill is he has to take a single hit. And right as you say that, probably will end up actually happening. Yep, there it is, 8%. Down air, a really good option for him to try to land down on the ground as safe as sound. Ralphie has to, or Dill has to respect it. Good pick up with that banana peel, trying to defuse that scenario of being a potential trap. Oh, good smash the eye, but he's not actually able to get to him in time for a punish. Back throw is going to send him flying. This could be an edge guard. Didn't want to challenge it. Respect it. Trying to mix up his recovery with the wall jump, but Dill sees right through it. Goes for the forward air again, saving his double jump to get back onto the stage. Ralphie is still dead. He's dead. He's gone. He's actually done for. Second stock. And now Dill is only at 17%. Let's see. He's already, like, this is pretty much evened up. And that was a really early, uh, like, really early death from last time. A little bit quirky. So, uh, Ralphie on the whole, his, like, gameplay has not been actually, like, his gameplay in terms of consistency does not, it's not actually reflected in the score. Gets the grab off stage, tries to challenge it. Good. He got that perfect pivot, but yeah, he had, he had the correct punish. read. Just a little slow to the trigger, man. A lot of spaghetti coming out. Man, this banana is just not. I've heard that apparently Diddy Kong banana just really is kind of. He's biased towards Diddy. Like the banana, he's just, the way he just like vacuum catches it is unlike other characters. So even though Rocky is holding it, it's hard for him to actually get that much mileage. Still just catching it back again. Then my cross dash though is such a threat here. Not many other things, but still. A dash tag will like a miss input. Okay, just gonna monkey flip through that entire situation. Let's it rip. Still sitting pretty. Just goes for a fourth throw for the edge guard opportunity. Cloud off stage without a limit. There That's we it. go. Safe and sound down tilt. Just stays on the stage. Doesn't give up too much stage control to go off there. Pound after him when he can just be be godlike on the ground. Yeah, I know. He was going for that down tilt a lot every time, and finally he actually lands it. And you notice that as soon as he does, that's just a dead cloud. He got the counter pick coming from Ralphie. I see him surfing Twitter currently on his phone. Oh no, he's picking his music. Never mind. My bad. My bad. He's got he's got them earbuds in. What kind of music do you think Ralphie listens to? Uh, K-pop, J-pop. Uh, I was about to say grunge, grunge. Uh, Justin Bieber. Uh, and uh, old school '90s punk. No, he wasn't born in the '90s. I wasn't born in the 80s, and sometimes I listen to 80s music. Yeah, oh, that's fair. Oh, here we go. Town and City game two. Straight back to it. The run back yet again. 
All right, this time actually is a much slower matchup, and Ralphie is kind of the one who's been making that happen. Not approaching the same way he was last time. Instead, trying to be patient, get limit. Don't force openings when he doesn't need to. Oh, he had the monkey flip read there. You see the air dodge coming. Now Dill's got having a heyday off of that grab. Wow, I, how did he not get hit by that? Shield, bro. Unfortunate. But the down tilt. Oh, Catches him on that platform. Really bad. Spikes it. him. Gets that down air out of there. One stock away from taking home another Zeno for Dill. I mean, and let's not... so. You could say, oh, it's just another Zeno for Dill. But the important thing is that if he wins this week and next week, he ties the kill stage for most Zeno's one. So if he doesn't win this week, that it's it's gone. That dream is gone. And that's like a pretty cool thing to have under your belt. Especially moving into ultimate. Just catches him with the golf swing. Get some practice swings in there while he's at it. One stock apiece. Oh, he uses double jump there, so he had to burn limit. Okay, another grab, another back here. I'm liking the movement from Dill, the way that he sort of weaves back and forth on these platforms. And just paying attention. You notice he's like, like he's solely conditioning uh, Ralphie, paying attention to what his escape options are going down. There's. <gasps> Oh, Ralphie died first. He went so deep to get that rocket barrel boost, but then just like too low. I respect the courage and I respect the decision. Just a little hair too well, slow. I mean, so technically could have gone for down air, but being in the blast zone, he probably wasn't sure of the timing. And if down air sent him above, yeah, he was dead. But cool. at that point, it's already a suicide move. Just barely mistiming it. And that's going to be Dill winning another Xeno. Looking real strong.